You're what up, what up, what up, guys? Your girl V Henny Man. You already know the vibes. Welcome to the Artistry, episode 121, where we talk about music, entertainment, culture, and the everyday life. Y'all already know how it goes. Ah, <sighs> how we feeling? How are we feeling? Um, as for myself, I've had an interesting week. Um, I've been. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I started working out. Right, like, like really working out, and this heat, and I didn't realize how out of shape I've been <laughs> until like really this week, where I've just been going in. I am proud of myself and Jade as well. Like the way that we actually can jog two miles now, like nonstop. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say this because I am not a jogger. I'm more of a bike rider. So the fact that I'm able to learn how to control my breathing while jogging now, especially during this heat, oh, that shit is no joke. Um, so I've been working out, um, at, you know, at the park. I, uh, I do wear my, do, am I wearing my mask? Let's keep it a buck. No, I'm not really wearing my mask while I'm working out. I'm sorry, I... I it may, it's like I feel like I can't breathe wearing a mask while working out. So I, I, two things I hate seeing, and yeah, some people are gonna attack me for this, but I hate seeing people working out wearing a mask or like jogging wearing a mask, and um, people who are in a car driving alone still wearing their mask. What the fuck? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, yo, <laughs> like really, like, I, I don't know, I don't get it, I see it, and I'm just like, bro, you by yourself, like, am I the only one who thinks like this, like, I'm like, you're, you're driving alone, like, who are you trying to, like, be quarantined from, like, who are you trying to stay away from, like, I don't get it, I really don't get it, um, teachers on, you know, I, I I don't like to get into the debates when it comes to the mask wearing because there's just so many misinformation out there that I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. You know, you're that you have your opinion, I have mine, and that's it. If you wanna agree to disagree, we could do that. I really can care less. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like I really can care less. You know. Um other than that, uh hitting, you know, my ass is <laughs> I got a 10. You understand? I'm looking, I'm looking, you know, a little Latina now. <laughs> Cause um my white ass was like, I was like, yo, everybody was like, yo, sis, your legs, yo. <laughs> your legs? <laughs> they was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was getting, yo, and my mad motherfuckers was cutting ass on my legs. Like, yo, leave me alone. As of right now though. Because, you know, when I'm going to the beach, you know, I wear shorts. So I have, like, underneath these pants, I have, like, my own skin tone shorts. <laughs> where one side, as you can tell, the tan. Mm -hmm. And then you see my white ass, like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so. Um, but um, let's get right into this, yo. Um, today we have Melina. She's in the building. She's going to be discussing... Um, her, her latest single, which she dropped this week, Soltera, um, and just about her process. Y'all already know how that goes. Um, as far as the latest news, <sighs> yo, I just posted today, right? As you guys can see, I posted on Facebook uh, where it says pedophilia is not a sexual orientation nor a disability. And then I put hashtag fuck out of here. Right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because let's 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 dive let's let's dive deep into the rabbit hole. <laughs> let's let how this started, right? Um YouTube, you know, has been my television and I noticed that Tom Hanks just got his, um, he's actually a citizen out in Greece, right? So I peeped that. Then you have Jade. Jade was doing some, she was watching a video. You were watching a video of, like, um, it was a YouTuber, and she was 
What, what exactly she was like just explaining about like the whole sex trafficking, pedophilia. I mean, she was just breaking down Chrissy Teigen at the moment. So Chrissy Teigen has a lot of fans being John Legend's wife and her yes. being a model and all that stuff. But nobody really talks about like her tweets and stuff like that. Um, she, she, the YouTuber that I was watching who I forgot the name of was getting into Pizzagate. And yes. that is a huge conspiracy theory that they say was debunked. But when you watch the videos of it being debunked, all it speaks about is the specific location they thought this was happening at. They weren't talking about how real these cold words were like pizza means little girl. Yes. Sauce means orgy. Um, pasta means little boy. Hot things dogs. Like that. Hot dogs. Yeah. All this stuff. It's insane. So she was basically breaking down Chrissy Teigen's tweets and okay. um, just really exposing Hollywood for what it really is and how in our face it is. It is very much in our face. And the crazy part is like how on even like on certain shows, Chrissy um, Teigen was just like speaking about like even um, eating like human beings. Yeah, so she didn't say she ate human no, beings, she but she alluded, that she, she alluded to the fact that she's very open in trying a human being. Like, she was like, oh, at a very expensive restaurant, if they had human on the menu, would you try it? And she was like, I would, which is very funny because they have, like, these meetings. They were talking about, I think it's called Mocha. If Mocha, I remember correctly, yes, yeah. yes. So they have these, you know, events, which is very expensive. I think they said it's twenty five thousand dollars a ticket. A, yes. To uh, just have to, to be served a, a slice, a slice of, pizza, of pizza, walnuts. Yes. And um, I think pasta. It was it was pasta. On the side. Yes, because it's the new. But it looked very out of place, like what they what they were eating. And then they'll have like certain people. And remember, like in the round table. Yeah, so everybody's sitting around, um, like, in a circle, which it brings And there will me be, like, a in certain individual in that circle. No, yeah, definitely. Yes. So they, she was just really breaking down that, a little bit of Pizzagate, um, and how in our face it is. You know what's crazy? Like, you, like, now it makes sense with, like, the whole, as mentioned, with um, Justin Bieber and the right. Yummy. The whole... Right. Um, you know, conspiracy to that, you mm -hmm. know, like the, the subliminals that he have with that. So if you were to look at Mocha, I think it was 2016 that they have a lot of pictures and videos the year before John Legend, I think, did a performance. You can see the table and how it was set up. And then if you were to watch uh, Justin Bieber's yummy. video, it's very, the uh, video Yummy, it's very similar. Yeah. So they were saying, like, even the the actresses and actors that were in his video, um... They look very sim similar to yes. like I I saw like an impersonation of like Chrissy Teigen and I was like holy shit like so they have a lot of lookalikes yes. at this table and this food looks absolutely disgusting but people are eating it like as if it's the best shit in the world so there's a lot of subliminals in that video and I was just we were just diving now we was that like, diving deep into it like the fact that you know Justin uh. I'm not saying that he is dating out there, but I think subliminal he is. He was a part of what is like the whole pedophilia movement, you know, like him being in this industry at a young age, you know, and let's keep it a buck. Hollywood is weird. Hollywood like fucking kids. Like I'm talking about underage kids. Like kids, kids, like. <laughs> so going back to Tom Holly Hanks, weird. <laughs> Tom Hanks, he Fucking is proud of his citizenship. Yes, he with is. Greece, and then Greece announced that in, in 2012. Right. They announced in 2012. Mm -hmm. So it is a dis. They announced that it is a disability to be, to have. A, I don't even know. They, so basically, um, in Greece, they indicated that. Um, pedophilia is a disability that you can claim benefits from. Now, this is the crazy part. Okay, so the pedo are entitled to disability pay up to 35%, while diabetics out there only get 10%. Right. So I'm like, first of all, 
pedophilia is i mean <sighs> see i feel that pedophilia is a mental illness and it you should feel be, like it's a, okay right. but it's not a disability no mental illness and disabilities are it's two a different crime. things i feel like it's a crime no it is a crime just yes. like you know people with schizophrenia they do they sometimes have voices in their heads and they're told to do crazy things and they commit crimes. That doesn't negate the fact that it's a mental, I feel like it's a mental illness and it should be treated as such, which means that this person who is a pedophile should try to go into treatment to understand the wrong in that kind of way of thinking. But instead, what are they doing? They're justifying it by saying Absolutely. it's a disability. Because to me, disability means your life is completely changed due to this one thing. So, like, if you're disabled and you can't walk, you have to literally, like, do everything to walk around, to, you know, to yes, do everything. Yes. I don't see how... You want to, very quickly, you want to look up disability, the actual definition before you hear, like, any negative slanders or anything like that is, is sent. But, you know, I think it's, it is insane with the fact that, you know, Tom Hanks is out here... Uh, Posting pictures with his wife, showing their passports, um, showing the fact that they are now citizens uh, out in Greece. Now, the thing is that you dive deep into the rabbit hole. Motherfucking Tom Hanks is on this list. You understand? As far as like with this whole Hollywood conspiracy theories as far as pedophile, pedophilia, um sex trafficking and then you go to his instagram page and he disabled all of his comments like so you're not allowed to leave a comment mm -hmm. because he was getting backlashes because of what's the theories is going on so now because of the whole factor of him becoming a citizen out in greece like you if you look at the comments out on youtube they're like Thank you for um, confirming the theories, you know, yeah. like, like you just, you're, you're trying to get away from, you're running from, you know, what's, what's happening right now in Hollywood. Yeah. So what's the definition you have? A physical or mental condition that limits a person's movements, senses, or activities, which is exactly what I just said. So how is pedophilia a disability again? Not being able question to mark, control because people mark, are also mark, saying that fuck out it here. should be at least labeled a fetish. Now, th now the, the the thing that the f f whoo, how you try then now you have motherfucking society not society let's just say um now you have motherfuckers really trying to correlate pedophilia with the LGBT cry um movement mm -hmm. like they they do not correlate no they do not go hand in hand yeah they're trying to um what correlate it to the whole love is love the whole love has no no age my niece is a, is I, I believe my niece is about six seven years old mm -hmm. six because i remember her not correcting my brother <laughs> the other day <laughs> like daddy said i'm i'm five and i'm six i remember her saying that six years old let's just say she was to make it in hollywood you're taking advantage of my six-year-old niece? Yeah. You no. know, like, get, no, no. It's, it's, it, stop. I feel like they're trying to, what is it? Um. They're just trying to um, navigate it to, like, they're just trying to pinpoint it to a different agenda, you know, with this. They're yeah. trying to, they're trying to point a different narrative when it comes to pedophilia because Hollywood is so fucked up the way it's crumbling right now and the, the the list of names that are just being put out there within what is it america american sweethearts and you know favorites are now being ba basically called out yeah because even in um, christy negan uh tegan mm -hmm. christy tegan um and her youtube not youtube i'm sorry and her, her twitter Mm -hmm. old um tweet mm -hmm. that girl had posted i think it was like maybe 2013 2014 she even indicated how brad pitt 
gave her a pizza or yeah, some shit like that. She has like this. She had multiple tweets about pizza, like random tweets about pizza. Yeah, the pizza she game. had random like tweets about watching little girls do splits like, and like hashtagging toddler and tiara saying that she's going to get arrested for pizza. Now, Bill Clinton is all fucked up because he it's actually getting confirmed. It's all over um, social media right now with him. You know, um, with him being on the plane with two other women, younger um, chicks, mm-hmm. uh, the fact that I believe he was documented to be on Epstein's flight, mm-hmm. which is called what the, the Lolita, mm-hmm. the Lolita something. First of all, Lolita, <laughs> like. <laughs> If you not read the book or the the if you haven't seen the movie, <laughs> that just says a lot. You understand? Mm-hmm. Um, Clinton has been documented, I believe, about twenty fifteen to twenty, like twenty five. Like I, I'm not exactly sure on the numbers, but he's been documented several times being on that flight, going to the Epstein Island. You know, like, that's fucking insane. The fact that they even have Obama ordering hot dogs and and, and, I, and something, I think hot dogs and pasta. He spent, like, thousands at, like, 3 a.m. That's actually documented. It's, all this is out there. Like, when it comes to Hollywood and the political world right now, politicians are getting fucked. So this is why they're trying to change the narratives now out here in the United States, out here in America, mm-hmm. home of the free, right? Where it's just, what is it? America, where, what is it that they've been trying to do to us? Is brainwash us mm-hmm. for years, you know? Um, so to, to, to change the narratives, to make it as if pedophilia is a disability or it correlates with the LGBT uh, movement Mm -hmm. is just simply fucked up. See, like I can kind of get disability, even though I don't agree with it at all. I can kind of get the medical aspect to the disability, I guess. Um, Really? I'm not even going to play this on the, I'm just uh, saying like as far as, no, I cannot get it. I'm sorry. I feel like I, somebody a, comment if somebody and I, I agree with them and so I'm sorry if I'm gonna attack you right now but for you to get it is for you to maybe have some sort of weird thing I mean, to it like understand understand the approach like I can understand why they were trying to correlate it as disability and not mental illness like I'm not justifying it and I'm not saying it's right it's absolutely disgusting. But at the same token, it's like, how can you... I mean, I feel like disability... It being a disability is one thing. And it being a sexual orientation is completely different. That is completely different. But I I feel like, first of all, it's... Exactly. For it to be a sexual... It is completely different. Like, I feel like sexual orientation is really really reaching. I think that's reaching. Because it's like, how can you justify loving a, a a human being that is only of the age of six or under age at all like your the brain takes so many years to develop like to just to just to develop your frontal lobe which is where you make majority of your important decisions mm-hmm. right this is where you do your decision making and you you know you go through your mind and you start you know picking and choosing what's the right choice you can't do that at that age so the fact that people are actually justifying and there are groups of people there are that are justifying it i'm just like no yo the the instant so like today i was um again i was very active on facebook today and i saw someone else post on the fact that how facebook is what is it like you know how they're restricting so many things Mm -hmm. so when you post about like pedophilia or like actual statements or documents you know it's being restricted it's getting taken down so they're stating that um mark zuckerberg it has Mm -hmm. he's part of that list they're saying Mm -hmm. you know um but then again it's like i could i can see it because how many pages have you reported 
Many. Um, How many pages you reported that has to do with pedophilia? I would say like and they're so proud. There's actually a fucking community of them. Yeah, there's there's a community. actually like th- I saw a hashtag pedophilia uh, are people too. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I'm like, no. nah. Wait, but question real quick. I'm not sure if you know, but if you are, if you go to court and everything for being a pedophile, don't you have to register you are, you as, are a you as a sex offender? You are registered as a sex offender, yes. Okay, so even as even with this disability in Greece, you still have to do the same, I think, right? Like, you have to... Um, I mean, once you once you register, once you go to court for this, yes, yeah, you are registered. Here in the state, uh, like, in the states. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how it is overseas. Because I think I read that you also, regardless of the disability, you still have to be... Re- I don't know. Uh, no, 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 I'm sure you have to, because at the end of the day, it's, again... You know, it's a crime. No, it is a crime. You know, now, I've, I feel like this is just another way of, I, so I, I, I don't know, like, what year exactly was this, but, like, you know how many times, like, people have murdered individuals, right? And they've been told to just say, um, what is it, like, claim guilty but claim insanity, yeah. So I think this is like the, it's not you know it's like the same route in a See, sense. Where it's like claim guilty but claim that you have a disorder. This you understand no, this is I a this, so I'm just like this is why they're doing I think this is why they're pushing and that's it. That's what I and that's what I meant when I was saying I understand why they're going that route of disability. I mean, I get the, the cuz they've not been doing it but they've been it. trying to do it for the longest. You know what's the crazy part is that you, we were talking about it today how Everything that Alex Jones been speaking on has been basically happening. You know, like for, you know, like he, he got his sources and he never, he never disclosed his information, but everything he did, he, he, he exposed this 10 years ago, pretty much. And... Many people I mean, discredit this, him, called him insane. Granted, you know whatever, but <laughs> look where we're at now. On for years, people think that this is just now. No, that this is been coming going on. Look at the um, only thing that has been and has been out for ye- What came out? What, what was exploited in 2016 was the Hillary Clinton when she was running for president. Mm-hmm. That's that's when she put herself a- on the light. Because that's when the emails started. Right. Which everything, obviously, she she just came from court. And, like, mm-hmm. maybe a few weeks back. And it was shown that she was actually guilty of a lot of the things. You know, they, they spoke in codes. I mean, yeah, that's where the Pizzagate thing all came from. Because they correlated a lot to the keywords and whatever. But, you know, this has been going on for so long. Like, Sh- Shirley Temple... For as a huge example, yeah, that's well, so true. Have you seen any of her movies? Have you seen how how her sexualized that she was? And, and she was a kid, surrounded by grown men, surrounded, and they justified it. And she speaks, and she spoke about you know how uncomfortable it was for her because she was only five. What are you doing? And she was portraying an uh, like uh, an adult in some video in some movies where you know she was having to act sexual. She was having to, and if she didn't participate, she would be thrown. I think in a in a in a room for time out, like all by herself in a dark room. All the, that's where all the kids went when they didn't behave. Look into it because I'm. But I'm like, this has been going on for so long. It's just now you're seeing it with with familiar faces, more familiar faces. That's the only thing. That's the only difference. It, you know, it made me really think, like, and sit down, like, yo, I remember growing up and just, like, you know, like, having this whole image where, you know, I wanted to become this famous, indi- in, in, you know, this famous individual star, or it's even certain people in Hollywood I looked up to, and I'm looking, you know, as you got, as you dive deep into the rabbit hole, it's just like, wow. I I I'm I'm just even like how like how at one point how did I even look up to you you know or like you know Tom Hanks you know he was such a nice in the person 
This is Castaway Wilson. You understand? And like I heard Robin Williams was part of it too. Robin Williams. I mean, and Robin Williams. That shit. But I feel like I was telling you. I want to dive deep into that. I was telling you that I feel like once you become a, like a what is it? Uh, a list mm-hmm. celebrity. I feel like you have to do certain things to reach certain list. You understand? You have your A, mm-hmm. your B, your C, the, your D list. I feel like that's the reason why there's certain categories. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, it's like we was talking about it um, with how Pusha T and his twin brother. Right. His twin brother removed himself, Malice, mm-hmm. from the music industry because he saw how evil and disgusting it was. Right. And he was just like, I didn't want, he didn't want no parts of it. Yeah. You know, and push. I'm sure he did like little. I'm not sure what he did, but I mean, I I don't know. I just know that push us. He's still in it, but he's not going as hard because his brother's no longer in it, and his brother just felt like the sacrifices kept getting bigger and bigger. And I mean, like actual physical, like animal sacrifices. And no, stuff that's like what that. that's what like I was just when 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 I had LJ here on Wednesday, mm-hmm. you know, ha- like I told him about the whole Kanye. You know, like, I feel like if Kanye is in such a big depression and I'm not taking away what he says, you know, for everybody's entitled to feel whatever they feel with Kanye, you mm-hmm. know. But I feel like when you reach a certain level of your career, like you said, the, 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 the type of sacrifices you have to make. Mm-hmm. Imagine the type of fa- sacrifices they had to make as far as human beings mm-hmm. and it ate them away. You said Robert Williams. Mm-hmm. Remember, he committed suicide. Yeah. Because he was depressed. Why was he depressed? You know, I mean, he battled the mental illness and stuff like that. But we never know what's really, truly deep inside a person. You know, what, mm-hmm. their, what their inner demons, you know? And, and that's probably why a lot of people within Hollywood do these certain things. As far as commit suicide. You know, um... I'm not, you know, I, I'm not, I, I, I mean, that's just a theory, you know, yeah. is it true? Is it something, you know, I, I don't know, but I, it's just me thinking about that. Like the thoughts that came to my head as I'm diving deep into these rabbit holes, right. you know, and, and it's insane how Hollywood, again, Holly weird. It's fucking weird. It's a really, and then because we are in a time, we're living in weird times now, quarantine, you know, Yes, a lot of things are opening up, but you still have a lot of people at home. You have a lot of people who are at home, and there's so much time now that so many things are being exposed where you can capture the you know so many people's attention. So it's just it's it's insane. It's insane. Um, I'm a little disgusted by. It. I, I'm definitely. I, I bring. In, I'm bringing in two other individuals. I'm actually setting setting this up, where you know they're conspiracy theorists and they're they've been mentioning a lot of things on social media where a lot of people did not agree with them, um, and I just I was like, yo, I got to bring you guys in because there's a lot you guys been saying and arguing with a lot of artists or people in social media. And a lot of people don't agree with you, but then boom, this is what's happening. You know, so one of the artists was just like, he was, you know, he mentioned the whole Alex Jones. And I was like, I know. I was like, mm-hmm. yo, bro, like I'm I, I've been diving deep into all of this because it's it's insane how Hollywood portrays one thing and just how everything's really coming to light. The but Justin Bieber. It, but is it Hollywood? Like mm-hmm. that is it is it weird Hollywood or is it the invisible hand that a lot of conspiracy theorists speak about? Like for people that don't know, like the Illuminati, you know, because it's like Hollywood is weird, but I feel like it's so much deeper than just Hollywood. Absolutely, you I know, I believe it's in, it's in polit um, politicians. It's in politicians. Is in the it's 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 a it's within the law. Is within. Um, all the symbols is, are everywhere. We was discussing that, right? So we were yeah. like, we were driving through Manhattan, mm-hmm. and how you mentioned certain symbols, like there's certain statues in certain places what it symbolizes, yeah. you know. And we, as and I say we as individuals who are not 
um, educated with it, with this mm-hmm. information. We just taking pictures around this whole, like certain um, statues or yeah. certain paintings or, mm-hmm. you know, around New York City, not realizing what's the actual deeper meaning to this. Right. It is deeper. You know, the, um, there's so many, whatever, like, um, what is it, um, headquarters. So many headquarters in New York, mm-hmm. Illuminati, uh, Freemason. Mm-hmm. Like, there's other, you know, there are so many headquarters in New York. No, there is. There so definitely is. So, is it deeper than that? I agree. Yes, I agree. I think it's, it is deeper than that. That's why I said it's weird. It's weird, and this is why I think there's levels Maybe I be maybe wrong with the whole eight, you know, with the listings, but maybe there's different levels to what you know. And when you reach that peak, you know, these are people who actually made insane sacrifices to be where they're at. This is why Hillary, this, one of them, emails Hillary, <sighs> Hillary, Hillary. That's all Hillary. I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's crazy how they mentioned her daughter, how like she grew up on this, mm-hmm. you know. I just wonder, like, this, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she thinks all of this is normal. Yeah, I'm sure she has to. I mean, you become desensitized to a lot, you know. Um, and I feel like that's really what has been happening with all this pedophilia as well. We just, we just been so desensitized to so much because Disney's been exposed for so much, Nickelodeon's been exposed for so much, directors been exposed for so much, and yet they're, we're still putting them on a pedestal. You know what I mean? So it's just like we're just desensitized at this point, and they're, and I feel like they're trying to go forward and desensitize us some more when it comes to this disability thing. And I know and for I, a fact, it, disability it's gonna happen. I have a feeling it's gonna happen. The way they're trying to like. They're trying to make that or Mm -hmm. correlate it to, like, it being an actual sexual orientation. Yeah, no. Not at all. Like, what? No. The whole, like, when you show me, uh, check it out. The picture right there, right, where you're going to see the fact that there's a, 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 the man with an inner child and there's an inner girl in him. And he's, like, reaching out to this kid. Yeah, so there's basically a what? photo of like a silhouette of this guy, and inside the silhouette is another silhouette of a, of a little girl, insinuating that even though he's a grown man, his mental and his his internal feels like a little girl. So it he, they're trying to say like because they feel five and they think they're five, it's okay to be with a five year old, you know, like justifying it in that way. And I don't. That's sick. Like that's sh- that's sick. I gotta take a music That's break. Sick. I gotta take a music break for this. Cause I'm just <laughs> like, yeah, y'all, y'all see the photo? Like, do y'all see that fucking photo? That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Like, um <sighs> I need some water. <laughs> Welcome to the rabbit hole. Welcome to the rabbit hole. We're gonna be back. We have some music to play and um y'all already know how that goes. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment. Y'all know the vibe. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Barry. Barry. Uh, uh, still like the coffee from the corner store. Corner store. Facts. Facts. Yeah. So much pain in my heart, it's hard to pour it out Used to keep it ice cold, now I thaw it out Perfect picture, I ain't draw it out I just painted every thought, now they growing out Ain't no falling out, they getting back cool Funny how your future stem from your past moves Funny how we want the credit, but the cash rules And niggas wanna fit your shoes, but they never learn to dance moves I move so smooth, a nigga cannot touch me Still clip the wings off a fly if I'm rusty Still show these niggas love even when they cut me Probably stab me in the back if I ever let them hug me My mother is the only one who could ever judge me So niggas throwing subs, don't erupt me And niggas in the way, don't obstruct me You working and living comfortably, I'm mad with comfortably Two different circumferences Cinderella, man, no pumpkin seeds 
promises always come with needs if money don't grow on trees it grow on bloody leaves and thick suckers can't uncut their knees price on my head i double the fees oftentimes find myself discussing with me and even when life is a wreck there's nothing to see how they left me with a puzzle that's never complete i'm in the field with some berry cleats money talk you can say at least my bitch pussy is my favorite peach she did my blunts in a plate of keith i play along but i play for keeps it ain't a favor if you save receipts Real shit. Real shit. Forever wanting more. more. Still get the coffee from the corner store. Corner store. <laughs> Bitch, I'ma ride for the gang. We ain't no walk in the park, we slide where you hang. I ain't breaking bills, bitch, so why would I change? Ain't shit changed, been the same since a youngin'. Mention my name, but they know how I'm coming. Better start ducking when the apes stop busting. They gon' let it sing before I ever go out like roughin'. Tempted to come with the stick, whether they mac or they crips. They gon' pop out with your crib and pop off your lid. Call them Miss Hustle and she with the shits. Yeah, and I ain't missing it. Bitch, I'm different. I hope all you hoes listening. Go get your nigga then. He know I'm blessed, baby. But this ain't no Christian name. You should be switching it. Switching up. Counting these Benjamins, throwing my skull. And lace on my Timberlands, bitch, if I'm quick And they love me, you don't want to For free of them bitches that they and I fuck Can I with. see me? You can bang on a bitch like a CD More you must with a ghost like it's Ouija I don't care if you don't love me I ain't drinking, you ain't no Kiki Go ahead and bed it up, I don't squash beef Ain't no call on my cellular If I'm his new bitch, then that's a level up If he dry, snitch, you gon' wet him up Riding a swimming cap If they spin a black, then we spin it back They Peter on niggas like dinner wraps He was walking before, now he handicapped <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm into that This me, ain't no spin back How they say it? Sky's the limit, yeah. so that's where I send a ass. Shoot for the stars and aim for the moon. 44 bullets for all of my goons. Yeah, yeah, gangsters with me like the wool. How about I shake the room? Nah, I ain't jacking you bitches. Bossed up, yeah, I'm back to the business. Hold on, got a caption for bitches. First they sub, then they asking for pictures. Asking for pictures? Where they do that? Telling them bitches I never do that. Nah. Next in my city fall off. I guess we must be them bitches that's bringing it back. We the most feared in the game, Kai. <laughs> Anything a motherfucker say fire. Many hoes know they trash, should have stayed quiet. My shit is banging the daytime. I retire a bitch. No singing, but I acquire that shit. She ain't lying to bitch. I go to work, but I better still fire that shit. No, no bitch. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the fuck you bitches thought. Like, I mean, I ain't hear no bitches that body this shit yet. Like, Kaya, what the fuck is wrong with them? Like, <laughs> I 
watch with them. I know niggas from the trap house. I'm trying to buy him a mansion. I started making the money. Then I saw who really loved me. Ain't even touching the mill yet. Why do you make a move for me? I had to put in the work. I had to put in the work. If there's a problem, we might put your man's on the shirt. Put your man's on the shirt. Say that they love you, but still throw your name in the dirt. Throw your name in the dirt. I ain't got friends with them 50s and 100s won't work. Hey, work. I had to put in the work. Is this a problem? We might put your man's on the shirt. They say that they love you, but still throw your name in the dirt. I ain't got friends with them 50s and 100s won't work. Hey. Nigga, 
nine plan. Five shots to the town, six nine way banging. Hit mine, we are racing. Ah, dip off, yeah. bitch, I'm fly, kick off. Gun sink like it's blue raw. I'm so BX like I'm new raw. Niggas talk hard, but he moves off. Giuseppe shine like a jeweler. Nigga, I'm cool, cooler. You can tell how I'm cool up. Cause game size what I throw up. Snitch niggas make me throw up. Real niggas wanna know us, and them bitches can't hold us. They gon' ride like they post to. Put your brains on the post too, and they got the bread, you got the toast too. And I got that magic like I'm Frank Lou. I'm back, I'm Liddy. Pop fat, stacky. Make moves like Diddy. Run to your block with the glizzy. My niggas get busy. They move, they shimmy. My hood is my city. You mad? You pity? I'm back, I'm Liddy. My block, my city. And I always got goons with me. Get back, Glizzy. All of my niggas, they with me. Slide, shimmy. No word for Ricky. Shout out to everyone who's been working super hard um, on their craft, on their business. Shout out to um, the Oracle Shop. They just launched their website last Friday and it's just becoming a hit. We definitely played a little, like, uh, like a little small um, clip on just what, what exactly what type of products they have. Shout out to just a lot of the artists that I've been working with. They're, they're definitely, they've been working hard trying to step out the box. I definitely want to dive into like the whole independent indie scene and, you know, entrepreneur. I've been trying to speak on certain things as far as like, uh, 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 uh. But shout out to just everybody who's been on their grind. You know, shout out to all of you guys. It's it's definitely dope and motivating. Uh, I I I'm super happy with the fact that I'm gonna say I'm gonna definitely say I haven't posted it yet, but I will say it here. So if you're watching, you already know the vibes. Um, so we are doing a show, secret location. We have uh, a certain amount of artists and. The art of music, baby. The art of music. Little by little, we're slowly opening up. However, from what I'm t being told, um, Brooklyn and the Bronx has, like, the highest rates of, like, corona cases that are rising. So, that's a little bit interesting. I just feel like the violence right now in Brooklyn and in the Bronx is, like, it's, g it's getting compared to Chicago at this point. So... Uh, all I can tell you is just, you know, take it easy. Be easy, my guys. <laughs> be easy, my guys. Like, just be, you know, take it easy. I, I, I feel like there's just, because everybody, there's, everything is so limited at this point, you know. Um, all you can do is either be in the block, barbecue in the block, <laughs> you know, the pool, the neighborhood pool is the pump right now at this moment, at this given time. Or you're going to the beach. And then be careful with the beach right now because it's that season again. It's shark season. So I know people are getting eaten up. I was just, I was just, people are getting eaten up, bro. <laughs> we were just discussing that. I was just like, yo, I'm a thick chick, son. Like, I can't have that shit at all. Like, you know, I think what the, the last shark attack was like maybe last week or so. A woman from Maine, I believe, where she was like in the on the Maine coast, and I I think all they found was her a tooth, right? So they, identified. they identified her. Just by a, fragment. a fragment of her tooth. Yo, like so. I think what I I don't I'm like. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Like I, I, I would, I would hate to fucking. I'm rest in peace to you know her and my condolences to her family because 
that's just uh, a a type of loss that it's it's you know it's like is it a would it be considered as a freak ax like a freak accident in a sense? Yeah. Right. It would be right. Yo, we was just saying that, like, with Mother Nature, when you go, when it comes to the ocean, I do not play with. Like, I do not play with the ocean. It's just the amount of, like, the, just, like, the fishes or the sharks, the stingrays, and just the bacteria, whatever. Like, just the ocean has, it's its own world. Mm-hmm. And I don't, like, I, my mom, like, the other day we went to the beach and my mom was shook. And she was just like, she's like, what the, she's like I have a respect for the beach. I do not play with the, with the beach. And, you know, it's just something where she just puts, you know, she just puts her fucking feet in and that's it. You understand? But the, with the water, it's like, it's insane. Like, even with the waves and stuff like that. Not only the animals, but just the currents. The, yeah. You know, like, it's insane. Like, me trying to explain to my niece, like, don't panic. You know, because mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, l- l- let me teach you how to swim. And I'm the first thing is, like, f- how to float and not to panic. And that's all I was like, you're lucky you're not, like, how with me, my father just threw us, you know? Like, and he was just like, paddle. <laughs> and if you swallow some water, que no te mata, te guelda. <laughs> in, in English terms, and if it doesn't kill you, it'll make you fat. <laughs> You understand, like, so I, though it's that season. Is you know, it's that season where coronavirus is rising again. They're saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we're in phase four, right? I believe we are, but I think that might be taken away because people are acting up. People <laughs> are going out. Define acting up. <laughs> <laughs> they're sick of being in their house all day, every day. So they're yeah. getting drunk right now on the streets. Yo, I can't front though, right? We was driving <laughs> and like we was on a red light and it was like a lounge, right? Like toes our right, I believe. Mm-hmm. And yo, it was a party. Mad people outside. And just two, 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 boom, <laughs> bam. Shake what your mama gave you. Shake what your mama. And I'm like, I want to go. Like, <laughs> smoking hookah, <laughs> chilling. But what are they expecting? It's summer, bro. Like, it's summer. Then you have all this misinformation with the, and all these mm, fucking, what is it? Uh, false positives. Resort results and you have like it's summer. Like we we like right now we we've been inside a house for how long for what? So we have been quarantined. Well, not we, but I would yeah. say like since March, like March, March April, something. May, June, July. Shit. So like officially, I would say like three months that they we've been on lockdown. I wonder how that's going to be with once they open the gym. Like, how can you, like, let's keep it a buck. Can you really do practice social distancing when at a gym? I feel like what they're going to do is probably schedule people. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to have, like, you know, like, when you're taking a class, it's like certain time slots. Mm-hmm. That's, like, it, everything's going to be so controlled. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what they were aiming for. Yeah, I know that, but it's just, it's, it's, <sighs> it's a it's a little overwhelming. It's a little overwhelming with the fact that they're trying to control like what you do on a daily aspect. Mm-hmm. You know, where we as Americans, or those who live here and you know in the states, we kind of would you say we've been spoiled? Why? Why are you spoil say you? When I say spoil you, where we do what we want, say what we want, and yeah, didn't give a fuck. I what mean, was you know, on just on people's thoughts or feelings or. 
I feel like we, I mean, it's been said, but we are really the only country that's really bitching about wearing this mask. Everybody else wore it when they were told, and now and they... And it has decreased. Yeah, now they're in a much, much better place. Yeah, we're like, we're... Also, you know, other countries started all of this way before it got bad. Like, we started to do all this when shit was already... When shit hit the fan. Hit the fan. But Canada was already, I think in January, they were already like, when they first came out, the first case, they were like, no. They shut down borders and they took Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You know, so Canada was on point with that. What's going on with... Well, can't... No, because when we went to Canada, they... when we went to Canada... Mm-hmm. Yeah, but as soon as we they weren't found forced to like wear anything like that wasn't no, hitting. No, no, they didn't enforce you to wear a mask, but they started enforcing like social distancing and stuff like that already. When, when I the would first say case, maybe, maybe February when the first late case February came out. Yeah, I would say February, March. But again, remember where we were at too? We weren't even that deep into Canada. I'm speaking. More no, we like, were. I mean, when we went to Montreal. I mean, I feel like Montreal is still borderline. Okay. But. You know. No, I get it. Okay, but I feel like I mean I get what you're saying. Yeah, like they 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 went quickly. Even in Puerto Rico, when we went to Puerto Rico, yeah, in Puerto Rico too. Puerto Rico shut down everything right away. Hundred percent. Like we got we went there for my birthday, and then Puerto Rico was just like shut down. That's it. Boom, and you still saw people like working because I I remember it was that particular. What is it? Um, in San Juan, that particular cruise, mm-hmm. that they, they stopped in Puerto Rico, and there yeah. was people who were sick. Mm-hmm. So obviously they they did a state in the they, you know they did a um they shut it down where it was just like and that I mean I was leaving we was leaving the next day but shit with like the curfews and everything there was quick on it it was us obviously like here in the state states where you know Trump was like oh yeah it was only one person mm-hmm. we're fine we're we're not gonna get affected. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only 18 people. We're fine. We're not going to get affected. I mean, my <laughs> thing is, is, like, if you want to go out and have fun, do so. But at least, like, follow the guidelines and don't ruin it for all of us. You know? I mean, like, uh, to be honest, yes. Follow, Regardless like, I've of been, how you feel at, about it, like, there's still people going home Because I can't talk shit because I'm here about to do an event, right? And mm-hmm. I'm, like, secret location. However, you must wear a mask we're practicing social distancing because we're not you know first of all with the way um everything is programmed and when i say programmed I, i'm talking about like um the laws with within the venues or everything like everything is completely different now everything's changed we know we cannot crowd these events we are not allowed to bring a certain amount of people at that is a guest list so we so we're we're limiting you from bringing x amount of people you know um so to be honest like it's common sense like where if you're gonna wear the mask wear it just you know like if you're gonna go out practice social distancing if you're gonna go out we went out to eat recently, right? And you were not allowed to bring other people into onto your tables. We had to order the food online. Mm-hmm. Which I kind of like. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a people person. Like, I'm, a very, I'm an introvert. So the fact that I could just do it online and they just gave me the food and I already paid for it and I can get up whenever I want and I don't have to call the waiter. I kind of liked, I kinda liked the convenience of it all. I mean, the convenience was actually pretty... At that specific Interesting. location. Yeah, that per- yeah, because it's... My thing was just, like, I, what they came to thought was, like, um, damn, should I give them a good tip? Because they didn't really weigh on me. Like, 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 I mean, did they even have an option for tip? Yeah, they did. I, I tipped them. I still tipped them. So I was just, like... And it's just me, I mean, but I was, like... I'm, like... All- they're still risking their lives to at least serve us the food and be there in that in that very moment so i guess in that sense then yeah you should tip them mm. but i mean i tipped them 18 percent because the, the option you got was, money no i don't got you got money money <laughs> no because that was the only option it was either 18 20 or 25 yeah, so i was like money. or don't tip at all and i can't i'm not one of those i can't tip people that is such a turn i off. hate when people don't tip that is such a turn off like I hate. Stop being cheap. Don't go out if you don't have it. Or don't order food if you want to tip your your local 
door dasher. I know that. I hate when people don't tip, bro. I, that shit I mean, a door my soul. is different because all they're doing is delivering the food. Excuse like. me? <laughs> I am risking my life. <laughs> just pedaling to my house. <laughs> Ooh, bars. <laughs> and for that, we're going to take a music break and we're going to come back with some more. Y'all already know the vibes. Peace. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about it. It's gonna be a cold summer, so let's talk about it. See, in the streets, there's a cold, and we don't talk about it. Now everybody catch a cold, and we can talk about it. You see, it started with a fever, body's getting hot, gotta get a mask, cruising through the block, isolate myself, cause I'ma die alone. She don't wanna see me, but she blowing up my phone, it's a damn shame. Nine months and the plans change, I'm laying down in this damn pain. I start to wonder, how I'ma keep from going under, cause one day the sun shines, then it's pouring thunder. See, this a true story, ain't no lies, this is true story. I'm going live like I knew Tory. See, there's a virus going around and it starts with an F. Uh -huh. Fake friends in the fear that you better than them. See, they couldn't put me on, so I had to take the long route. Shorty called me daddy even when she stick her tongue out. Man, I'm about to bug out. Bodies run out, send me dug out. You ain't cut out. Cause I'm staying for the better day. Praying for the better days. And I'm just trying to find a better way Yes Until the pain is over Okay, okay The pain is over Okay Oh yeah And I'm just praying for a better day yeah. Praying for the better days mm -hmm. I just hope somebody save me, somebody save me. Sorry if I told these other b I'm a lady You know I be in my bag been through this before, you don't even gotta ask uh, Since I was a young and I was getting to the bag These niggas, my sons, they know I invented swag You can catch me stunting in my Air Force Ones But I think I need another pair of Air Force Ones Cause I gotta keep it simple Haters keep it pushing Shout out to my n fire beats, good looking You know when the lockdown's over I'll be cruising in the Range Rover Getting brain when the game's over Real city, man, you know we gonna take over Black summer, it's gonna be a hot summer Summer. I'm feeling like a rock star Saying peace to my peers, baby You don't gotta fear, no Cause I'm just praying for a better day Praying for the better days And I'm just trying to find a better way yes. Until the pain is over The pain is over Oh yeah And I'm just praying for a better day Praying for the better days TGMG, shit me? Y'all all wanna be on this pop smoke shit. That niggas popping, definitely don't want no smoke. <laughs> Lyric gang, shit me? A scar. No. I ran out of fucks and I leveled up. Ran up a bag and I doubled up. Can't fuck with you niggas who bitching up. Can't run with you niggas who switching up. Bobby lit as fuck. Handy sipping in a double cup. Bad little vibe, little bubble butt. She threw it back when I beat it up. Grip on my neck when she eat it up. She double her nigga, my feet is up. Dipping in the morning, we fuck till the morning. I dip cause I'm on it. These bitches be born. Cash at the dump, so I can't be falling. Bitch, I've been saucing. Drip make up nosing. My line is too busy. The money be calling. I pop out like threes. So it be born. Juice in the mission, I'm cooking and saucing. Big dread. She fell in love with the slip bed. She went up like a stick shit Yeah, niggas mad, y'all can eat dick You know the vibes, I stuck when I shot Get fly with my guys, niggas gon' ride Don't put in no work, no piece of the pie But then in my money, don't hold my line Bitch, I been saucing and dripping Bitch, I been saucing and dripping No way drip on water, bitch, take a sip Hold that shit, girl, on oh, my foot Was fucking your bitch, tricking the shit Hitting the dance, they hitting the tango Money be talking, the back talking lingo Double a big roll, I in the payroll You know the vibe, money over everything That be the lingo 
She yell up on me, she do when I say so I do when I chase hoes, I love them pesos All my haters mad, all my niggas kill Yeah, she ride my strap on her tuck and super hills Rock band bands, yeah, old big bills Flip behind the racks like a hundred car wheels Call her how to chick, yeah, I give these bitches shells Turn some too real, I could be your fan, I could be your night, keep these jokes all night Pretty face, little booty, nice tits, everything you like I like it, I like it, you love it, I love it I keep from nothing, I make my nothing to something Fuck bitches, buff it, you both bitches, so good for nothing I'm like fly, like private jets I like shower sex, drink shiny with the flex I drip off the neck, I like cash for checks Drip me for so good, I don't need the love Just give me my respect, I'm a boss, I'm a vet Put the V on the chest, fuck us up, count blessed Middle fingers, I'm a ex, couple bitch niggas Rest, couple boom, bitches dress Press, 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 press Living don't need no press Killing shit, put them all to rest Flex, 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 flex Shitting on them, keep my foot on next Checks, 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 checks Back on my shit and I'm back on my grind Flex, 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 flex I got a gun in my boot, shoo I gotta get to the loop Let my guinea poke on top of the roof, ooh I got plenty of room Spend the fat, walking through the fat like a fat man I ain't afraid to get burnt I done felt the oil pop out the frying pan Plenty of niggas, yeah, they talking tough Now know the set, better to die and breathe I can care less about a pussy nigga talking But he ain't never got love for me Blue faces on the money trees It's a cut of seeds, we got plenty seeds Rupa fried the chitties, I got a recipe Cut the cocoa with that excellence I got fiends crossing borders Walking on water to touch it quick Ain't that excellent? I got bitches jumping on my deck she know the measurement, she said it's relevant Case a nigga make a season to sell her shit She off the medicine, she love the dick so I gave her that elephant Had a straight up out of element, whoa Had a straight up out of element, whoa I got the power so she call me ghost She call me Tommy in my hot head I love the blue, I don't drip red But I ain't crip, I'm an orphan Rent a few blocks from the orphanage Gotta get the pussy out of the office Don't wanna listen with we'll torture him, y'all Fuck around the corner, to toss him, y'all I got the money, I'm running with Sunny And we got the heat out of Boston, y'all Got a lot of money, I'm running with Sunny And we got the heat out of Boston, y'all GGMG be the law there, y'all Still affiliated, know you niggas hate on my administration huh. I take the high road or the low road Man, I'm still the baby Leave your body on the high road or the low road that it make a statement To get your body out, I'm calling me They say these bitches love me like I'm fucking me You get the money till I'm dead and gone Said I love the money, that ain't nothing wrong Let's roll out Make a troll I'm 
cry when real niggas die. Oh, that's that real nigga shit. Oh, yeah, that's real nigga shit. Yeah, that's that real nigga shit. Yeah, that's that real nigga shit. Yeah. Wake up, KD. You should be that nigga that's popping on TV. OIG. There's definitely no more Little Wayne's or Jay Z. There was no more Tupac, no more BIGs. I got bars, bitch, T.I. Lee. Don't let that go over your head, cause we can put a loaf on your head. You niggas is biting the cheese, but I thought they was G's, though. Niggas that still freeze when they see COPs, bro. Let them rap on the beat, they kill you, me, them for free. Give me no killer, I'ma let you be. Nigga, one way or the other, I'ma make you respect us. Go ahead with your best, I'm just shooting the neck up, yeah. Let me talk my shit. It's Lalo, why me, yo, nigga? F.A. I don't you know. Look, I'm sporting clothes now that I couldn't afford It's that dust shoes, cat when stashing cans in the back of out, it's a cord Cashing my singles all at the corner store I'm a rowdy, of course, money chasing your niggas' whores We ran the whole build up and found us on two floors On the floor for the basement, on boy we was caking Shout out that nigga Nitty for bringing me some nigga from my little city Told him give him my 20s for 50, yeah This is lyrically killing your favorite rapper by accident Most of these rappers is bitches and they masculine Step on the devil's souls if I chop that like who you dancing with I make Nazareth with banana clips on some ramble shit Daring anybody to throw rocks at this You only tough on the beat but in real life you was opposite 16 shells with the ops to get Up close and personal I really highly doubt it I'm a miss, I'm flying, and I flew that was a kamikaze flip. Niggas won't catch that to me. <laughs> <Chuckle. laughs> Señorita, señorita, mamacita, mamacita, mueve la cintura, mueve la cintura, mueve su cadera, ven disfruta con los jefes de Nueva York, somos unos tolete, venimos con los cuartos, todos los billetes, bebiendo mi favorita bebida con mi gente, estamos en gira a Colombia, y yo no estoy atrás de chocha, escondía anda mi esposa, si me agarra aquí me mata, me llama cada segundo. Me llama cada minuto, me llama cada hora, me llama. Ay, qué onda, persiguiéndome en Marallín, vacilando en Cartagena, gozando en Cali con mujeres que son ajenas. Mujeres bellas, digo una fea, mire esa nena, cómo se menea, bebiendo tequila, estamos en candela, para la noche entera. Nos fuimos para la calle y ya yo estoy para bocear. Dale a las mujeres, me parezco celestial. Le digo, ven acá, le la molesta a la calle. Tengo la botella, don Julio, que en mal. Vamos para el mal, el canal de Panamá. Y entonces nos contamos en un par en la ciudad. Si tú no sabes nada, tú no puedes entrar. La mujer me cae atrás y no me quieres soltar. La botella es especial, te vengo a ayudar. Aquí no quiere ir. Bebe más, bebe más. A eso no le pare, somos todos especiales. No mire, ven y dale, somos todos los salvajes. Yo te hablo de un lenguaje y me compro un pasaje. Y que eso para Miami, yo me llamo Chapatari. Yo me busco pa' mi mami, sabe buena como Cali Y me gusta no me sale, yo la pongo como Johnny
Mendoza. Esto es para los reyes. Chapatari. Henny, and we back in the building, and we got the lovely, beautiful, I don't want to fuck up her name, but go ahead, because I have a Spanglish accent, <laughs> so I'm going to be like, Melan- <laughs> Melanir, 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 uh-huh, I, damn, I need to start rolling my tongue, bro, like, <laughs> I, need to be I know true, my name is hard to say. My name is hard to say. So No, I mean, it's not, to be honest, it's not that hard, it's just the fact that don't get it. Don't take it personal. I just yeah. fuck up a lot of people's names. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I want to just say thank you for taking the time, being here. Um, thank you for having me. Nah, definitely. I, I, I've been doing a little bit of research on you. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, tell me more. Tell me more. Well, congratulations <laughs> on your um, your, new, your latest um, music video, yeah. your release. Yes, my single. I'm so excited about it. Soltera. Soltera. Yes. My first debut single. How does it feel? Oh my God. It feels amazing. Yeah. It feels amazing. Especially because I've been doing music for so long and uh-huh. I've been doing a lot of just like cover stuff. So to pi- finally 
you know, put out my own mm -hmm. baby, my own music, and let the world see it. And I've gotten such great reactions from people. That's good. That, which makes me feel even better. Did you write the track yourself? Or? I, I co-wrote it with okay. someone else. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was looking at it. I was just like, so I, today, actually, I was on reviewing it. You dropped it today. Yeah. So yeah. I was reviewing it. And I was just like, I love the fact, you know, like, you're so thin. I love the fact how you had, like, different, like, you had, like, different men. You was yeah. a little player. You understand? <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Well, finally, we got the female yes. player. You understand? Exactly. <laughs> Playing to the modern woman right now. Because yeah. it's like, why can guys can't, but shouldn't be the only ones that could do that. In their videos, we could do it, too. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> yeah, and it was just funny because, like, towards the end, you was just looking at your phone like, wait. Yeah. Delete, but, delete, yeah, yeah. deleting him, deleting him, but uh, <laughs> who came up with the treatment? Did you have like any anything to do with the treatment of the video? So yeah, I was involved in the whole process. Okay. The whole storyline, everything was very important for me. I wanted it to be very modern. I okay. wanted it to be sexy but comedic. Okay. Like I didn't want the whole video to just be like a whole bunch of like, you know, booty mm -hmm. shaking and all that stuff. I wanted it to be like I wanted people to watch it full through mm -hmm. and be like, "Oh, I get it. That was funny. Like that was cute, you know?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the whole modern take on like using your phone and kind of deleting a guy, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. getting a new one. You know, that that was all I like that. There was an that important one concept. There was that one scene where um you're on the bed and I guess he took the little pillow. Yeah. <laughs> And you were just like, mother. I, I thought that was actually, that part made me smirk. I was like, ah, I like that scene. <laughs> um, uh, I know you are very big on talking about like the, the fact that you don't want to be, you want to show like the difference of like the people's aspect of looking at you as a Latina, a certain like yeah. image as a yes. Latina woman, yes. right? Yes, yes. So a big thing about me okay. is embracing my Afro-Latinidad. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is just embracing that, you know, I I come from so many different parts of the world. My ancestors do. And I don't look like this because I'm Latina. I look like this because I've my ancestors have come from Africa and have come from all these places. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in entertainment and media right now, you know, there's very little Afro Latinas being shown as this woman is beautiful. You know, mm -hmm. it, like when we look at novelas and when we look at music, we sure. don't have Afro Latina women. We have a lot of Afro Latino males. Yes. Like Osuna, like, the, the, you know, yeah. all, all these, all these guys. But it's almost like the, the industry hasn't really accepted Afro Latina woman. Mm. Like to be like, oh, she could be in the front row with Nati, with Becky G, with all mm -hmm. these other women. But when we look at the, the women that are right now in the front line, they all really kind of look the same. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's what the like our culture has taught us that that the entertainment in industry is supposed to look like. Okay, you know? I, I know. think it's generations of this is what we're used to seeing on TV. It is it's deep rooted. It's deep a way it's yeah. way deep rooted. Cuz I remember my grandparents like okay, so Obviously, I'm just so blanquita, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. I, I have my moments I can talk Spanish, <laughs> you know? Um, but, you know, if, like, if you look at my siblings, they're your complexion, actually. Uh -huh. uh, I used to tell people I'm the milkman's baby, <laughs> you know? But where I, I had explained, you know, at one of my shows how, like, a lot of this is deep-rooted. You know, we grew up with our parents like, mira, like, if you bring this to the house or, <laughs> or like, whatever, you know, things happen. So... Um, you know, as as a woman in the industry who's very proud of what you stand for, you know, I salute it. Thank Keep you. Keep doing it. Keep, you know, it's just, I love when I see women who are proud of who they are and, you know, just knowing how in this industry, how the stigmatism of it, you know? Yes. And that's a big thing that I talk about. And a big thing that I, I just want to be a role model okay. for, like, the young, like just all all women, yeah. not just Latina women, but all women to be like, like if you really believe in something and if you see that there's a gap in the market and you have the drive to try and change it, go for it full force. Yes. Yes. Full force because 10 people might not listen to you, but one person Absolutely. might, you know, and then that one person might start like bam, 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 opening other doors for you. It's like that saying, what is it? Um, for every 10 no's, there's one yes. There's one yes. Exactly. You know? So that's how you. Same exact thing. I, I know definitely you were a contestant on a TV show. Yeah. Uh, Reina de la Cancion, right? Reina, yes, on, on Univision. I was Top nine. Yeah, top nine. How, how, how you feel about this? Like, what's up? It was very, it was a life-changing experience. Okay. 
And I say it because not only I got to meet amazing women that I still talk to every day, the uh-huh. other contestants, it wasn't catty at all. It was very friendship oriented. Nice. Okay. And I learned a lot about myself on that show. I learned what type of artist I want to be. Mm. Because when you go onto these shows, you know, I perform all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't get nervous performing, you know, but when you get onto a television setting, it's hundred percent different. Okay. And you learn things about yourself that you could, you could get better at. Okay. And because I had never been on television, I, I took into account all the things that, that I know that I could have done better. Okay. And I came back home after the show and I'm like, no, you came back hard. Yeah. Putting on music. This is the type of artist I want to be. This is the sound that I want. This is the type of look that I want. Nice. All these things. So now I'm like, bam, 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 going like in a straight line. L- like hearing you say that, how long was your challenge as far as finding your sound? Like, was that something that you always had issues with? It wasn't that I always had issues with it. It was it was that I wasn't paying attention. Okay. If that makes any sense. Yes, it does. So as a performer... I'm used to perform. I, I sing in English. I sing in Spanish. I sing in, you know, I sing R&B. I sing soul. I sing all these types of music. So singing all these types of music, I wasn't focusing on like what direction I wanted to go to, mm-hmm. to until I was forced to. Gotcha. And then I'm like, you know, being on the show and I came back, I'm like, no, I see it. I see the line. And so I'm going to just run towards it. Okay. You know, um, Knowing that you did, like you did this competition, right? I I get hired a lot for um, to judge events. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, how do you go about? Like, are you? How do you take cr- constructive criticism? Because I know, like, I've had artists that I've given them my input. Yeah. And some of them actually took it in. They yeah. Got, it was it's you know it's a lot to take in. I get it. Yeah. This is your craft. This yeah. is your baby. You know. Yep. Yep. So I get all that, but. You know, you have some, they're, they're just like, F you. Yeah, not everybody <laughs> takes a good. <laughs> yeah, so like how did you, like, I, I guess like, since this is like one of your biggest changes within your, your career, how did you take all this in? Um, I had no choice but to, right? Okay. Because if they're watching me, so they have to be seeing something that I can't see myself because I'm performing, mm. right? We're not perfect. Yes. I'm sure even the top celebrity, the top performers are not perfect, mm-hmm. you, you know? So I always take in, into account a lot okay. what people tell me because um, they're the ones looking at me. So so if they say, oh, like you could have done this better, I'm like, okay, I take it. Like, okay, I need to make sure I keep that in mind for next time. Okay. You know, because that's the only way that I'm going to get better. What's, you don't, do you have anything in particular that actually stood out for you? And to this day you apply to like your, your career? As in, like, criticism that they gave me? Yes, about, um, uh, what was one? I would say uh, pressure. So uh, on the show, I was letting a lot of the the pressure kind of get to me. Mm. And I saw it in myself where, like, I was was great in the beginning. And then I was letting the pressure of being on TV kind of, like, get into my head. Oof, yeah, which is lot. yeah, it's 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 heavy, but and it's crazy when you think about it because as a performer, I have never felt that. Okay, you know, performing on stage with a crowd, mm-hmm. but on, when I was on television, it was like it's holy, a different feel. Oh, a hundred, three hundred and sixty, hundred percent. You know, so but now, like I always tell everyone, like if I were to go back, I'm a killer because I haven't know what to do <laughs> now. Yeah. I don't know how to control it. <laughs> I mean, that's a good. I mean, you know, it's a. It's a lesson learned, right? Um, but it's dope that you were able to take all that and apply it to where you're at now. You know, this is going to build you up to being, to become that superstar that you are destined to become, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I just, for me, I'm like, I give it to you because I would, I think with like being on TV, right? Yeah, yeah. Seeing, you know, like just the different aspects of these lights, right. cameras, <laughs> audience, I feel like it would be very overwhelming, you know? And there's times that where we as individuals think, okay, I'm ready for this. Yeah, until then, you're there. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any, like, um, rituals you would, like, you have or had, like, during the show before you would start? Yeah, I mean, I would try not to think about the song too much. Okay. If that, and it's counterintuitive, right? Okay. Because you, you'd be like, why wouldn't you think about the song? But... Sometimes if I would overthink about the song, okay, it could literally potentially make me forget the lyrics because I'm I'm like stressing my brain out about it. Okay, so I would try and like woo sa and like 
drink some tea and like talk to somebody or something to kind of like relax my mind okay. so that when I got up there, I could, you know, bam, Ooh. hit it out. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's so what they say. When you overthink about, when you think too much about something, mm-hmm. you could, you're you stressing yourself out. Yeah. You know? So have you ever been in a place where you probably maybe made a mistake and didn't say a certain word to the lyrics or something. And if oh. so, like, how did you play it off? Well, on the, on the show, actually, I admit it. Listen, because the whole world already saw it. Okay, so okay. on the show, I forgot my lyrics on okay. stage. And it was because I did that. So okay. I did. I was overthinking because it was a, it was a song that was a little a little complicated because it would say, like, the same things in different okay. ways. So, like, I was overthinking it. And then when I got on stage... I started diva, you know, I was in there and then I got to the center stage and I went blank. Mm. And then I started like, num, 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 da, da, da. like I started like, yeah, like humming it until it came back to me. And then I was back in there. And then when I finished, I finished strong okay. and the judges, they commended me for that. They were like, you forgot the lyrics. We noticed, but we commend you because you didn't even, you didn't let it phase you. You, you kept going and you fell right back into the it. The show must go on. And that's exactly what I say. Like, it's about how you start and finish. Like, yeah. forget the middle. Like, is how you finish? Like, if you finish strong, everybody's gonna still clap Ooh, for you. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a <laughs> lot. <I'm, laughs> not, and I also realized you mentioned how um, you used to. You know, you went to school for this for music. Yeah. That you had your nine to five. Yeah. But during the weekends, you actually used to sing at weddings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how was that process for you? Like, how was it like? Like, from going from the nine to five to um, singing at, 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 you know, certain yeah. weddings. Um, you was part of a band? Or yeah, just, yes. Okay, so, and then becoming a, your solo artist now. Yeah, So, yeah. how was that process? It was, I always... I'm blessed to have the opportunity to mm-hmm. have been with, you know, performing with every weekend with a wedding band because there's no better practice mm-hmm. than to to be in that business, honestly. Okay. Like for a musician, like not only do you grow, you know, your ears grow because you're listening to things, okay. you know, and you're, you're uh, you know, interacting with an audience all the time. Okay. You know, emceeing, having to communicate, which pe- not everybody's good at, you know. Okay. Some people are good at performing and other, and yeah, but they can't true. talk in front of very an true. audience, you know? Yeah. So those are all things that are valuable to an artist. So I got to learn all those things throughout college. I was in the, like in the business for what, six years, seven okay. years. So like I got to learn so much and learn so much about myself. And that's why I say now, like I don't get nervous to perform which is good because I had to do it for so, for so much time. Yeah. I know in an interview you had mentioned how like, I think like you kind of realized you was falling into like settling Yeah, with, you know, at what given point did you realize, like, I am meant for more? I realized it. So I was working at a, a nine to five for f- almost four years um, at a corporate company. Uh, um, and the whole time I was there, like, I never, f- I was happy because I loved the people that I worked mm-hmm. with. But I was also, like, kind of not happy because I felt like I had all this creativity to give the world. Okay. And I wasn't using it. And it was, like, getting me down, like, on myself. Like, damn, like, what I need to be doing this. Yeah. But... You know, as people, we have this fear of, you know, financial instability. Mm-hmm. So I was like weighing those things for all those years. Like, like I'm making a paycheck. I can pay my bills. But I really also want to do this. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then that's honestly, that's why I auditioned for the show for, oh, okay. for the singing competition. Yeah. I auditioned because I was like, let me just try it. Okay. You know, it's a show. It's a cool concept. It's all women, like, uh, you know, cantante, all, mm-hmm. all Latinas. So I was like, let me just do it. And then something about the process that when I went to audition mm-hmm. and I was getting through each round so, like, almost, it felt as easy. As if it was meant to be. As if, it, as <laughs> if it, was, it was meant to be. So I was like, when I got on the show, I was like, nah. I have to do this. Like, forget that. <laughs> After I got back, uh, even getting eliminated did not feel bad. Uh-huh. Like, I like everybody gets eliminated at Absolutely. one point, you know? So I came back, and I was like, quit my job. I started doing things and started That's making dope. music, started working with producers, and it's no better feeling. No better feeling. So what are your goals as far as, like, I mean, we you, you dropped this, you, you dropped your, um, your video, mm-hmm. but what's next? So I have a few singles lined up okay. for the rest of the year. Uh, I don't have an album because I feel like for me, mm-hmm. it's very important to just 
put my content out. God, I love when I hear artists say that. <laughs> uh, you know why? Because I, uh, we like we coming from an industry where you have, especially I'm, I'm very much involved in hip hop, right? Yeah. So it's hip hop, R and B, sing, like whatever, just yeah. singers or like musicians in itself, like they're constantly just. Albums, albums, yeah. mixtape, this and yeah. that, and I'm like, how can you grow a fan base if you're and, and have your fan like you're growing your fans? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm you're working building on. Building with them, yeah, and you're dropping all these just like you know singles, and you're drilling that single in their head. So that's what when you step out and you go somewhere else, it's already in their head, and it becomes that you know like what they're doing in the, you know in the, in the music uh, in the radio, yeah. Like, it's just, it's just like, uh, you know how they say marketing is like, it's psychological. Uh-huh, so you're just uh-huh. drilling it in our head yeah. with that particular single. And I feel like as an up and coming artist, mm-hmm. like, I feel like for me in mm-hmm. particular, it's more important just to put out single after single after single until I get to a point where I have this steady fan base where then I can concentrate on an album for them specifically. Okay. So yeah. So right now I'm just having a good time making music that people are going to like. I mean, that's dope. That's, I mean, how did, did you like with this whole COVID situation, right? Pandemic, uh-huh. you know, I feel like it, for some, it was a, it was a curse for others. It was a gift, you know, yeah. how did it affected you? Oh, it was, it was, it's sad to say, but it was kind of like a blessing okay. to me. And nobody ever wants to say that about this yeah. pandemic, but it was a blessing in the way that we actually recorded this song okay. virtually. So this this single was recorded in my home. Okay. Uh, so I was in my home. My producers were on Zoom. Oh, wow. Okay. And they were controlling my computer through like a screen share. Gotcha. So oh, wow. Th- like, right? How innovative. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were all literally like through se- the session. After, it was like four hour sessions and we would be like on Zoom and they would be controlling everything and I would sing and do my part and they would control it on their end. It was it was actually really cool. I recorded it on video to keep it as a memory. Did you? Yeah. That's dope. Actually. <laughs> I mean, how was that? Because I'm, I'm sure you're used to being in the, you know, the in the studios. Like for you, how I, I know it's innovating and it's new. But how, like, for you, like, did you, was, at the beginning, was it something like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this, or? Oh, no, I was excited about it. Okay. Because okay. I also got to learn, like, how the producers do their thing, because I was watching mm. it myself. So I found, I, as an artist, I was like, oh, I'm learning at the same time. It's like a class, yes, you know? Yes, yes. Do you feel like you, are you like a Kanye West where you're hard on yourself, like, you're, you're a perfectionist when it comes to your, your music? 100%. I'm I'm my worst critic. Are you? Oh my gosh! Yes, <sighs> completely. With what's one of the songs that? You, um, well, not even one of the songs. Like uh, with this particular song, what's something that you felt like when when you first like decided to to go forward with this? Like, what's one of the first things you felt like it needed improvement with? Um, I don't know if I say improvement because I feel like I got it to a point where like I love it, mm-hmm. and I feel like. As the most important thing is that you love your your own, yes. you know, the stuff that you create. But I mean, imp- I can't say that anything. Nothing. You no. were just like, okay. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Like, if anything, like maybe I could have done more if I was in a studio, okay. right, right, hands on with the producers, okay, as opposed to virtually. But no, I think I'm happy with what She's I made. Happy. She's I like, cannot <laughs> tell you nothing negative. Listen, don't ask me that. <laughs> No, I mean, well, you know what? Congratulations, because uh, people don't realize at the end at the, at the end of the day we are in a pandemic. Yeah, you know, so to be able to record virtually, you know, do a studio session, yeah. overcome that, you know, I Make I, a I music know video exactly. <laughs> you made a music video, and a lot of people you have. I know a lot of certain people fell into depression and they felt right. stuck. Right. You know, I know for, I'm going to speak for myself at the beginning with this, I, it took a while for me to adjust and adapt. Right. Right. You know, cause you, you know, when you're so used to on the go. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. for you that you were just like, all right, we're going to do this, drop this. You have, yeah. you know, you're now, you, 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 you look at you dressed up, you have an event. <laughs> you understand? Like you're going from here to an event. It's super dope. Congratulations on your success. Thank you so it's much. It's super dope. I, I'm, I'm super like, I just love seeing other people um succeed and just pursuing their goals i know it's not easy it's not yeah you know um 
I feel like when you're an entrepreneur, right, mm-hmm. um, when you're chasing your dreams, we always battle with insecurities. Mm-hmm. We are self-doubts. Mm-hmm. Um, have you been in a moment where you felt as if this wasn't for you and you was, like, very close to quitting? And if so, how did you overcome this? Yeah, I think, you know, I guess that point for me was getting out of college because I studied at Berklee College of Music and I studied, you know, music business. And as a singer, getting out of college and coming back, you know, home, mm-hmm. um, it was a battle of am I going to work or am I going to pursue this? Okay. Am I good enough? Okay. Am I good enough? Like, and then you start kind of comparing yourself to other artists and you're like, oh, like, I don't feel like I could be like there. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you, you create these doubts in your own head. Like yeah. they're not even there, but your mind is so powerful that it I can is. convince you of anything. Facts. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was at that point in my life where I almost, like that's why I got a full time job. So I I felt like that was kind of me giving up because mm, okay. I could have kept I could have just went straight for it there, but I doubted myself first. Okay. So I was like, I know I need to work. Yeah. I need to work. This is what I'm supposed to do. But there's no such thing as what you're supposed to do. I agreed. Yeah. I agreed. I feel like um I always tell people what's normal. Yeah. You know? Then people just like so. I'm glad you overcame that. I'm glad you're. Super happy that the fact that, you know, you have this video, you have so many achievements. I look forward to your success. Oh, thank you. Um, we're going to take a break. We're going to play your music video, actually. Um, Soltera. Uh, those that don't know, like, the translation is just being single. Yeah. Uh, yeah, First definitely. First single, call single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we take this break, last question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Wow. Last time I did something for the first time. <laughs> I guess I guess create this this single. Okay. Because it was is the first one that okay. I've ever come out with that is my own. Ooh. Can you let everybody know where can we find your music, your all your information? Yes. Um all right, this. well you can find me at Mel- Melanid. M E L A N E R um, on Instagram and pretty much that on every other social media channel. You can find my music on Spotify, Apple Music, and all streaming services and watch the video on YouTube just searching for Soltera Melanid. Ooh, love it, guys. Yo, guys, I want to just say thank you to everybody who's been showing mad love. I posted her photo, by the way, mad people, mad guys is on my video. Really? Yo. <laughs> Man, guys, tell them to follow me. <laughs> I was like, she, I was like, check out, she's soltera. <laughs> As of today, I'm soltera. <laughs> <laughs> but you already know the vibes, man. You got V Henny. Tune in, subscribe, leave comments, follow her. All her information is gonna be in the details um underneath. So y'all already know the vibes, man. And we're out. It's your girl V Henny. Follow us the artistry and why all platforms. Again, details, descriptions is all there. All right. So let's do this. Before anything, though, we're gonna have Homegirl perform. I definitely I'm looking forward to this because, <laughs> like I said, like I just I love a great performance. I love great music, and I'm looking forward to this. Hey. Let's get it. Let's do it. Hablamos por teléfono y así tan rápido acabo cuando te digo que no aguanto más. Me llena de mentira, dice que no está con ella, pero la cuenta aquí está de más. Porque ya conocí, que el que busco siempre va a conseguir. Ya mi Instagram no sabe de ti. Rápido yo digo que estoy soltera Y a mí nadie me amarra con su pena Oh, bailo como quiera, bebo donde sea No vuelvo ni que me pidiera porque estoy soltera Cuando te veo digo quién es ese Oh, bailo como quiera, bebo donde sea Papi no te mortifique porque estoy soltera Porque estoy soltera Porque estoy soltera Perder. No me llames, no me busques Tú sabes que me puedo mantener Tú no me puedes decir nada Yo hago
hago lo que a mí me da la gana No me vengas a tocar y a otro va a escuchar Mi disco está a la media madrugada, estoy soltera Y a mí nadie me amarra con su pena Oh, palo como quiera, bebo donde sea No vuelvo ni que me pidiera porque estoy soltera Cuando te veo digo quién es ese Oh, palo como quiera, bebo donde sea Papi, no te mortifique porque estoy soltera, porque estoy soltera, porque estoy soltera, porque estoy soltera. Hey. El aner. Hey. El aner. Artistry. Catch us on YouTube, Facebook, or outlets. Follow us, the Artistry NY.